Mike Schilt took over an underachieving team just before the All-Star break last season, and he imprinted it with the same characteristics that had defined his own climb from high school manager to now major league manager. He stressed fresh starts and fundamentals, communication and camaraderie. Above all, he'd tell us, baseball's to be fun. And he would know more than most, for this is a man who once polished the shoes of Cal Ripken Jr., someone who found no task too menial if it opened a door to baseball. For Mike Schilt, education came through immersion. And in 2018, you could say he aced his final exam. He shed the interim title just 46 days after taking over as the franchise's 50th manager, and he pulled a club sinking in the standings back to the cusp of the postseason. Under Schilt, the Cardinals reeled off 10 consecutive series wins and finished with 41 victories in their final 69 games. No team had more in that span. He won the respect of his players, one of whom perhaps best summed up Schilt when he said, this is what this man was born to do. You know, we asked Mike Schilt when he took over as manager if he found himself being recognized around town, and he kind of laughed at us, and he said, you guys, I don't get out much, so, so no, nobody sees me. A couple months later, we asked him the question again. We said, well, now, now are you being recognized a little bit more around town? And Mike looked at us seriously and said, you guys just don't believe me. I really don't get out. So, Mike, I'm glad we were able to get you out tonight, and I hope you're going to get used to being recognized a little bit more around this town. Tonight, we want to recognize Mike Schilt for a job well done by making him the first non-player to receive the Jack Herman, Joe Ostermeyer Rookie of the Year Award. Cardinals manager, Mike Schilt. What does that mean to you? Uh, eternally grateful for the opportunity to help steward this organization that I love so much. It is uh, an organization that you're the 50th manager. It goes back, there's some big names there. What have you learned from watching the Cardinals through the years? Just the respect that the organization has, not only in baseball, but in this fan base. I mean, you look around and you appreciate the um, legacy that is the St. Louis Cardinals tradition, not only on the field, but off the field. It's an organization of class and dignity. Let's talk about your rookie season. So 2018, July 15th, you take over as interim, interim manager. What was the adjustment? Uh, what did you do to get that team to play like it did? This has been, I've been giving way too much credit for this, Tom. Let's don't kid ourselves here. Um, this is the group that turned this thing around. Um, I was just there to help shepherd it, but yeah, it's, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's a special group, strong leadership. We just mentioned the rookies, and I'm honored to be a part of what that looks like. And, um, you know, many more years, boys. So a lot more successes and um, some rings on some fingers. This is why they love them. So. Let's talk about 2019. Who's ready for 2019? Ready? Mike Schild, tell me about your ball club. It's been a busy off season, and you've been rolling them out here at the winter warm-up. You ready to go? What do you think about this club? Love this club. Love the, what we've done in the off season. obviously. Tip of the hat at the front office. Mo Gersh, the DeWitts, providing the support. You know, I had dinner last night with Goldie and his wife Amy, and. You know, I think we're going to appreciate him not only on the field, but he's a first-class guy. And Andrew Miller was able to have lunch with him. And, you know, a lot of texts I got from about both these guys and people in the industry that, that I really respect. It wasn't about their ability. We know they're, they're elite performers, but just the high-character people they are that will fit into this group right here that is extremely high-character and, and talented as well. You really do have a great group coming back. Tell us about your everyday lineup or just the, the players that you'll be moving in and out of that lineup. Your offense looks pretty strong. Really strong. Whole club looks strong. So you're talking about a deep group. Um, you know, we, we're anchored behind the plate by, by Yachty. We appreciate his comments about defending our city. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it's always good when you have that anchor behind the plate. Of course, Goldie will be Manning first. And, you know, we have Colton at second who really unbiasedly, I felt like, won the gold glove. But um, it's something to prove again. And, and it's taking shape in his whole game coming together. And Paul DeYoung. Um, who continues to evolve as a player and, and a guy we can count on. And, um, of course, we got Carp back at third base, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> and, and really a really underrated third baseman. I don't think people appreciate the, the, what he's been able to do, and he's getting back to a natural position. I'm happy that he's able to 
to kind of have an anchor that he can count on. And, and you know, he's been such a great teammate um, on a lot of levels, but, you know, being willing to move around. And he's got the ability to move around, but it's good to have him anchor that high corner. And then it was something that people refer to when they say why they think this team will be so good in 2019, pitching depth. Very strong in the rotation and the bullpen. Let's talk about your rotation first. Yeah, I love it. You know, we just had a guy rightfully win the Daryl Kyle Award that um, is, a, is a stud on and off the field. Our man Miles, you know, is just um, workhorse, goes out and I love his mentality. I like the way he pounds the strike zone, throws inside. He's got all the weapons, so he's going to be a guy that will continue to lead us. And, you know, we've got Jack who, you know, all those adjectives about him were – were accurate and, and I can appreciate what Bob Gibson saw in Jack and sees in him because I see similar things and you know it's a guy with a high level of desire and fire and and uh, loves the competition and has the ability to back it up and then you know like Michael Waka you know Michael has you know been a really solid performer for this organization for a while and was on his way with Miles to the All-Star game before you know the oblique injury so looking forward to get Michael back and logging some innings and of course you have Wayno that's exciting. Uh, anytime you can say well, Adam Wainwright, you, you got to be happy about that. And I uh, saw him today; he looks great, having a wonderful off season. And and then um, last but not least, because there's not a least, you know, you look and people say, "Who's your ace?" And you go, "Well, you just name the rotation, and you can pretty much come up with it." Of course, we got Carlos Martinez that 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 you know looks like an opportunity for for him to get back in that starting rotation. And and here's the good news: you know, you've got depth past that. You know, and not only we talk about depth, you say, "Okay, you've got depth. That's great." We've got proven depth. We've got quality depth. And one of the things you mentioned about impression when I first got in the organization, regardless of who you talk to, whether it's scouting department or player development department, the evaluation wasn't a major league player, it was a championship player. And so I appreciate that because that's what we, we seek. And we've got guys that have shown and proven they can, they can do some things. And it's going to take, you know, our 25 and our 40-man roster to, to do what we hope to accomplish. You do have to have a great bullpen to win. And I, we're also conditioned to ask, who's the closer? Who's the closer? But really, Mike... I mean, that situation could come up in the seventh inning, the eighth inning, and you seem to have a lot of pitchers who can get that job done or at least have the potential to do that. That's right. As you look at the way bullpens evolve, and, you know, if you've got a nailed uh, ninth inning, no doubt about it, but we've got multiple pieces that can, that can handle different situations based on game situations. So um, we'll be flexible. We'll put guys – that's my ultimate job – put guys in position to succeed. So depending on the order and what it looks like in the eighth or ninth, you know, you could see different combinations. But the great news is you you, you got some guys out there that they can get it done. And what do you do between games in your off time? Are you getting out there more? Not a lot, you know. <laughs> I'm a little socially challenged, Tom. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I try to get out a little bit. I'm enjoying my opportunity to get into St. Louis and having a good time and getting acclimated in the community and um, even a further appreciation of what a wonderful community this is and the people have been great and I, I'm enjoying getting out so um, but it's time to get rolling it is it is that time Mike Schilt Cardinals manager with us congratulations <laughs>